What's up guys, this is John from NFA Gaming, and uh, this is going to be episode 2 of the Redstone tutorials that I've been doing. Uh, I know it's kind of late, uh, all of us have been pretty busy with exams and just life stuff. Uh, that's why we haven't been posting a whole bunch of videos other than just trailers recently. Um, but in this episode I'm going to be showing you uh, how repeaters work. And basically it's really not that complicated. Uh, it's just, it's basically just a way to time things, and they have some other uses too. I have them set up in the back. But it's really not that complicated. So normally a button is a pretty quick way to just send a current to like an outsource. Uh, so if I push the button, there's a slight delay, if you notice, between this current and over here because it has to go through the uh, repeater. Um, and these have different delay settings if you, let's see, right click it. Uh, and I had it on the farthest setting, which takes the longest. And the timing is judged by how far apart these two torches are. So if I put it right there, you'll see it's pretty quick. That's just like a normal button, and then a little longer, longer, oops. Um, and then the longest setting is what I had it on originally. Um, and you have to set these up. Uh, if you look closely, there's kind of like an arrow thing right here. Um, if you were to put this in backwards, it won't send the current through. You have to make sure that you have this facing the right way uh, into the other redstone. And just, you know, these work with any input source. Um, so here I have three repeaters set up all in the longest setting, so then just you'll see how long it takes to go through. Sends it through each of the repeaters and then it hits the door. Um, just more timing. But over here is uh, like a uh, clock type setup. Um, I don't think I've went over clocks yet. Um, but it basically just circulates the uh, current back to the door. So I'll just set these up. Okay, no. I forgot. Uh, these are like charged cells. I set this up oh, quite a while ago, so I didn't really remember what this was. Um, but both of these hold the current because, um, as you saw, with just a single input, it's providing a constant output. So what happens is, and I'll demonstrate this on the smaller one, or you know what, large one, it'll be easier to understand. Um, the current goes into this wiring right here, up into these repeaters, over into these repeaters, into here, and then it goes to the door and to these repeaters, which sends it back into the original current, and then it just loops around again, uh, providing a constant stream of circuit or of power. Rather, uh, in order to just turn this off, just break some redstone, and it goes off. And there we go. Um, and then you can change the settings on these, and in order to create that clock thing, you know, I'll put on the longest setting. And I'm sorry if you can hear my mouse, it's kind of obnoxious. Alright, there we go. Goes off, goes back on. Uh, and you see what's happening, well this one's just staying open. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this off. All right. So then, back here, uh, okay, this is the clock that I was going to show you. Okay, so basically just what I showed you, um, the I sent the current through right here, and it's going through this repeater, getting delayed somewhat, going through this repeater, getting delayed, going through here, getting delayed, and then going to both the door and another repeater and sending the current through again. So if you need, like, say dispenser to give multiple items at once uh, you can do it like this you can also make it smaller like I have demonstrated here um, but that's about it for repeaters um, they're basically just for timing and for like clocks like this um, but if you guys need to know anything else about repeaters I don't think there's much more to do with them um, just let me know it's not that big of a deal uh, and I'll be sure to get that video out. So uh, that's it for today. Peace, guys.